Here's a little animal story from South Africa. It's uh, one which intrigued me no end when I first heard it, which was 20 years ago. And it's a true story. And I actually, when I heard the story, someone told it to me, I, I trotted off to the library of the Johannesburg Sunday Times to check up on all the old press cuttings because it all happened in 1930. And it concerned a hippopotamus called Huberta. And uh, originally she was called Hubert. <laughs> then some animal expert presumably pointed out the error. Quite a large error when you come to think of it. <laughs> but the reason that she was given a name at all was that unlike all the other hippos who like to um, stay with the herd, you know, wallowing in the mud, a bit like us humans, really, <laughs> Huberta was an outsider. She went out on a trip of her own and she covered a distance of four or five hundred miles, entirely alone, and nobody knew why she was doing this or where she was going. She wandered through towns and um, all sorts of places on this journey. And uh, the, uh, her progress was followed, of course, by um, well-wishers, sightseers, and occasional press photographer and so on. The Indian population in Natal because this is where it all happened, down through Zululand and Natal. The Indians worshipped her in the temples as some kind of a goddess. And the Zulus thought she was the reincarnation of Chaga, uh, a belief which was considerably reinforced by an event which happened one day when three Zulus were throwing stones at her and jeering at her. And, you know, Yabu, ha ha, or whatever Zulus say when they're uh, throwing stones at hippos. Um, <laughs> But we humans, you know, we're a funny lot. We're all different. And uh, some of us, when we see something magical, something mysterious, something like this that we, we can't understand, we, um, uh, we, we shoot it. <laughs> Either something we don't understand, or something we're afraid of, or something we can make money out of if it's dead. It's an old human custom. And this, alas, is what happened to Huberta. And after she'd been so senselessly killed, the uh, people of South Africa were very upset about it and couldn't bear to think that she was dead, and so she was sent to the taxidermist and, and stuffed. Then she was sent over to England and exhibited. And today, she stands uh, back in South Africa in the King Williamstown Museum. I'll tell you the story of Huberta, the hippopotamus, who one day left her home in the Umfalozi and wandered far away. She wandered for many a mile on a long and lonely exile. Far away from the sugar plantations she knew when she was a child. No one can tell you why she went to Durban For she gave no explanation But around midnight she gave the city a fright By her appearance at the police station Furthermore we shall never know Why to the country club she didn't go And was finally seen like a beauty queen Gazing in the chemist's window And then she visited Port St. John's where she made a cursory call. The people there just stood and stared as she walked into the town hall. They said, Johnny, don't go too near. You better, you can't stay here. You're far too ugly for us to love, too clumsy for us to fear. You better. Why did you leave home? What made you want to walk alone? Who knows what lies?
store for you And who can tell what men will do Found a pool on the farm near King William's town And finally it seemed that she had decided to settle down But the public for interviews sought her Especially the reporters But Huberta was shy, refused to comply Plunging back into the dark waters Whenever horses or cows came by, she invited them to stay. She wagged her tail and advanced politely, but always they ran away. And then with sorrowful sighs, Huberta would sadly capsize back into the pool where the muddy water would hide the tears in her eyes. But I Why don't you go home? You know, you know, your turn will come. For in this world of men and guns, they'll spill your blood where the river runs. And early in the morning, four farmers came, their hands all sweaty, their eyes aflame. They said, you've got no right. To be on our land It will teach you a lesson that you'll understand Huberta made no effort to run They dried their hands, they leveled their guns They fired in her nose, in her eyes, in her head They fired in her belly till the river ran red Red blood, blood, red river, don't cry You know Huberta was bound to die Huberta, why did you leave home? made you want to walk alone, fish can live, where a dog will die, and a man can't go, where the swallows fly. <laughs>